Hi, it's Corrine, and today I thought I'd share a quick little silhouette project with you today. Not quite a project, but just an embellishment that you can make for either um, a gift package or a tag or whatever you'd like. I'm using it on a project that I'm doing for Wild Orchid Crafts, so I thought I would share that quickly with you. So again, this is a way that you can make your own print and cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my library and I'm choosing a scallop circle journaling card is what it's called. If I can link this where I got it in the description box, I will do so. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check into if I got it from the Silhouette store or not. So it comes with the outside scallop part and it comes with the inside circle part. So I'm going to make this into a print and cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down here to the left and ungroup because I want to fill this in with paper. So I'm going to go up to my fill pattern window and I'm going to use Juniper Berry by Basic Gray. Let me just find that here real quick. And let me zoom in a little also so you can see it a little bit better. So I love this pattern here. I want to go down over here to the right. I want to go to advanced options and up the scale pattern. So the pattern looks um, a little bit larger, probably to about 130 is perfect. And I don't want this to be very bright. I want to tone it down just a little. So I'm going to go here to the transparency and put it at about 25 is good. And now I want to add something to the center of it. So the easiest way for me is to duplicate this and go back up to my patterns. And let me just first take this pattern out so you can see I have a duplicate of this. And I believe I had a deer head in one of my patterns here. Um, I bought an element pack. Again, I purchased a lot of my designs through Snap Click Supply and I believe they're currently, everything's currently 50% on sale. I'm not quite sure about that, but I'll link that in the description box as well. I believe it was through um, the end of December. Yeah, right here I have, this is also from the Juniper Perry collection and this one is scaled to the Hunter and 30%. I think I'm going to take this back down to close to 100. Okay, so I just rescaled that to 100. And now I want that to go over this circle here. So I'm going to, while this is still highlighted, I'm going to hold shift and select this circle here. I'm going up here to the top right to my align window and select center. And now that has centered directly over it. And now I'm going to group these just so I can move them around and not have to worry about them. And I'm going to print and cut these out. So I do have a video showing exactly how to do print and cut. I'll link that below. I go into great deal, detail on that. But I'm simply going to turn on my registration marks. And I'm first going to print this out. Actually, before I do that, I want to add some wording to that as well. So I think I have a few um, Allie Edwards words here that I think I'd like to use. Let me just find something cute here. Believe in magic, I love that. So let me double click on that. And now I need to size that down. And if this were a word that would cut out, I need to select no cut. But when I buy her files like this, they don't cut. So I'm going to highlight both the word and the circle, go back up to my align window and select center. And now that way, when it prints out, it's going to print out this wording and then cut out the outside circle. Again, if you were using some words that had cut lines, you have to worry about that and select no cut, but I'm not going to do that. So I will print these out and I'll be right back to show you the end result. So here are our finished pieces. Like I said, I, I used this on a project, so this is the second one I made. And the first one I made, I cut out three of these and stacked them on top of each other. And I did a light edging with vintage photo in distress ink.
adhered that down with a little glue. On my project, I did, um, I used some foam squares to pop it up. And here you have a cute little print and cut embellishment. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks so much for watching.